is cracking my YouTube family it's your boy Napoleon back with another video hopefully uh, you enjoy my content hopefully and uh, so today we're gonna get into uh, a car that we've worked on several times here so we got this uh, I think it's a 2016 I think it's 2016 WRX and uh, today we're gonna be well tomorrow I'm gonna say this I'm gonna preface this for tomorrow uh, the reason why is because I'm not gonna leave the Evo 5 outside. I'm gonna throw the WRX on the lift in preparation for tomorrow. So, I don't know exactly how low this guy wants to go, but uh, yeah, that, that front has got a big wheel gap, big wheel gap. Uh, and right off the bat, I am going to say that uh, looking at the fitment, looking at the fitment, we might have clearance issues, might have clearance issues, depending on how low he wants to go. But these wheels, people, I'm not even gonna lie. I haven't seen this color in person ever. And with the green, I, I'm, I'm digging everything about it. Like, I'm honestly, like, I probably wanna steal the color of these wheels like honestly like they look so damn good like and I, and I don't really say that too much about these uh, about wheels uh, I do like I mean obviously in TO3s everybody loves uh, you know uh, whatever I got on the GTR T, TE 37s everybody loves those these uh, Graham light I think they're I think they're C 57s or D 50s I can't I don't know um, I can't I don't know what what model they are, but they say 57 on them But and I know they're made by Graham lights, so they're really really nice wheels. But anyway on to uh, the knickknack here, so he does have a set of uh, Fortune Auto, I don't know if they're 500s or if they're regular Fortune Auto coilovers and they're in really like when I say really good shape really really good shape for it being like a winter car he got it from a guy that uh, he, I guess he just sold this car so that's what I'm guessing. He just didn't want to deal with uh, the the you know the the coilovers or whatever. So he uh, he wants me to do them. So I got no problem with that. And uh, but yeah, we're gonna put this on the lift tonight in preparation for tomorrow, and we're gonna get this bad boy done. So we'll pick up where we leave off tomorrow morning. So let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, folk, we are off to the races. We are gonna work on this. Uh, 20 i don't know i, I want to say 2016 2017 wrx right now and uh super exciting because i haven't done suspension stuff in a while so he's got a sway bar and some white line in links and his fortune auto uh fortune auto coilover so don't know where he got them from if he obviously he got he got them used but uh i don't know if they were um how how they were set height wise so we're gonna get in here and we're gonna actually do some work so the car is already on the lift like i said in the previous clip here uh we i already knew that it was gonna be up on the lift so i am going to get the evo uh evo 5 out of here and we're gonna start working on this thing so yeah give me one second all right ladies and gentlemen folks so this is what we got here a set of uh I know that they're hard to see, but they are Fortune Autos, Fortune Autos, and uh, they're just they just have these socks on them, like which I have never seen in person. Uh, I, I you know saw pictures of them on the internet and stuff like that, but didn't know people actually did them. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a set of uh, set of dikes over here. I don't even know if I can even say that anymore. Dikes. <laughs> so let's cut these off real quick. And let's see. Wow. Holy crap. Look at that. It's like literally untouched. So I'm sure that the rest of them are actually going to be the same. And already the collars, they seem really good. So uh, I'll, I'll put a little grease on the, the, the bearing or the, uh, the threads here right at the very bottom. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna really need to really worry about it with these with these socks on here. So they are Velcro, but uh, there was zip ties on them. So I will need to uh, make sure that I do that. Make sure that the uh, 
you know they're they're on there really good so yeah just for reference here uh this thing was really like yeah it's it's really like it's stanced like crazy but i'm gonna put it up in the air get these tires wheels and tires off and we're gonna uh just start with the uh getting the getting these bad boys in because like it shouldn't be that bad nice carbon fiber hood by the way too but if you guys do remember i did do the uh aos on this and uh it was a long time ago actually but i'm gonna get this thing off and uh yeah we'll just get the front suspension done first should be pretty simple a couple 14 millimeter bolts up top here and uh, i think they're 19 millimeter bolts at the bottom and uh and then we can move on from there so let's go Number one when putting these lug nuts on man i'll tell you this right now so these are i think they're called race there's some race somethings but they feel they feel like they're actually metal and not aluminum but whoever put these bad boys on like way tight man i don't know what is going on this is probably like a hundred and some odd foot pounds of torque because like my uh my little thing here it, it'll it'll break lug nuts like no nobody's business so uh, i'm gonna have to let this thing down and i'm gonna have to actually like hand uh loosen all of these just because i don't want number one for it to break off or number two for something to get messed up so uh give me a minute i'll get this done real quick come here C come come here for a second i want to show you something so looking at these these are Perrin uh wheel adapters because they're probably like mm, 20 mil 20 millimeter if i'm not mistaken i can't really tell here let's see uh, oh they are they are 20 millimeters look at that i don't know if you can see yes 20 millimeters and look what it says right here I know it's really hard to say to, to see, but it says wheel the torque torque to 80 foot pounds. 80 foot pounds, people. Please, please don't go with your impact and impact these things on and then not torque them. Like it's ridiculous. So my my gun hair has settings so like I can go through and torque these to the right spec or at least close to it and then go back with my uh torque wrench don't freaking put it on with a gun i literally just spent 20 to 20 minutes to a half an hour getting just the front spacers off because we're not going to be using those anymore it's going to make the wheel stick out way too much uh but the rears i'm not even going to mess with the rears i'm gonna be honest with you uh, and and that's rule that's that's number one that's the number one problem number two problem do you see anything do you, do you see anything wrong here you see anything with these threads these threads look old and crusty so these wheels are probably been on maybe three weeks the owner said maybe three weeks can you tell me old and crusty that means nobody put any kind of NICs, any kind of lubricant, nothing. Nothing was touched on these threads, which is ridiculous. These are the same way. No NICs, no nothing on these threads. So if you're gonna do anything with your wheels, when you take them off, put something on these threads so that it's easier for the next man to get them off because this is ridiculous. And, and like I said before, these things were probably torqued probably not they're probably not even torqued they were probably just hammered on with the freaking gun it was ridiculous so uh just remember a torque wrench is your friend uh wheels are usually 80 foot pounds trucks are usually 100 to 110 foot pounds of torque so just keep that in mind 80 foot pounds of torque 80 foot pounds of torque 80 foot pounds of torque on these wheels so do you get it all right good so we're gonna go through and we're gonna pull this front suspension off finally because yeah i'm just i'm i'm so over it already so uh yeah let me set the camera up let's let's go For those of 
you who uh, aren't familiar with most of these newer cars, a uh, like the 2015, 20, 2015 to 2020 WRX uh, and STIs, they do have a cam centric bolt up front. And, uh, oh, it's underneath the car. Uh, it does have a cam centric bolt at the top over here. So uh, this was a 12 mil for the, uh, for the caliper. And then uh, the speed sensor was a, uh, a clip there. So we're gonna roll up top and I'm gonna get the couple 14s. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, uh, what you call it, get to the other side and uh, pull the other side apart. Uh, just so that we could let everything down all together. So there is no frame of reference here just because uh, What do you call it since we are doing a full coilover setup? Uh, this this car will need a uh, an alignment a four-wheel alignment after I'm done So the owner knows that because I I'm not a uh, I don't have the, the tools to actually do it so but uh, I did put reference points to, to guide me on uh, where I should should be around but we'll see how it kind of goes. So yeah, give me one second and then I'll let the car down. simple process here it's a couple 12s well triple 12s one in the back here here but i had to take the uh the strut tower brace i think it's a parent let me see parent yeah it's a parent uh strut tower brace there so i had to make sure that i didn't damage anything there and then uh they just pop right out the bottom so yeah easy easy peasy lemon squeezy and uh yeah these things are freaking monsters just look at them now onto these bad boys and uh they look really good i haven't cut this uh this zip tie off yet but uh yeah they they, they look pretty good so i'm gonna use the uh supplied nuts that's on there and they do have like little like washer uh things there ears for it to not rust which is good I'm not gonna throw any uh thread uh stuff on that just because underneath the hood it's not gonna rust Anything underneath here would probably rust, but uh, I don't really need to worry about that at all either, just because it's not gonna come off. They are uh, pretty good as far as threads there. I will put some down on the uh, bottom of the collars and uh, front and rear, and so that we could adjust them without having an issue. I don't think that the, uh, the main collars, the main collars like here and here will be an issue. I don't even think the bottom will be an issue. But I'm going to throw some thread sealant on there, some NICs on there, just to make sure that they won't uh, come, come, you know, get rusty and all gunky. Because there is some rust starting to form here and some here. But, uh, but like, looking at the condition, like, the boot looks really good. Like, everything behind this, like, you know, little, you know, coilover cover looks really, really amazing. So, like, maybe I might just have to invest on in some of these but then again i don't know how long uh these were out in the uh the wilderness either so uh yeah let's just get right back to the action So one thing to note here, if these were brand new, one of the things that you should definitely keep notice to is that what direction your uh, camber, camber uh, you know, adjustments are facing. You always want to be facing left, right uh, in the uh, in, in this direction, just so that like this this is your camber roll here. Caster is like this with your wheel. Camber is like this, and then you got your toe. Toe is like you know your actual steering angle uh of of your front wheel so just make sure that whenever you're doing your suspension 
any kind of suspension, but these are, you know, just Fortunatos, that they are set to uh, to this direction here. So we're gonna raise the car up here and uh, I'm gonna put everything back together in the front and then we can start working on the back. So let's go. For this part here, I'm gonna make sure that uh, everything is kind of lined up. It does look really, really, really good underneath here. I will tell you that. So uh, I'm not really gonna adjust this thing at all. I'm gonna see where it kind of lies, and then we're gonna go from there. So let me let me just connect everything together on both sides, and then uh, we'll we'll check back one over. We're trying to start the rears. So yeah, give me one minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, folks. So quick update here and uh i do have the the whole front end all put together which is what i really wanted uh now one of the things that i know confuses some people but like you got to get this through your head this spring here is your preload your height adjustment comes at the bottom so that's why there's a lock here if you're gonna put and change your uh spring rate you undo this lock and then you can take your spring out and change your spring rate. That is not for you to touch. Uh, you know, you make a mental note or whatnot or of where your spring is and then you go off of that. So this, this is like a little loose, but like we don't have any kind of pressure on it. So uh, that's not going anywhere, but it was already preset, uh, you know, from where Fortunato had it. So that's, that's all, I, I'm not touching it. Your height adjustment comes from the bottom. So you unlock this collar and you spin the whole thing up or down, however you would want it there. And uh, that's that's how to do it there. So we're gonna move on to the rear here. And the rear is a little bit more simple. There's two bolts, well, a bolt here that holds it up and there should be two bolts from the top. So accessible from the trunk. So I'm gonna let the car down now and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get get to work on this and uh he did get a sway bar i don't know if i did i don't know if i mentioned that or not but he does have a sway bar here uh i think it's a not exactly sure what kind it is but i do know these end links are uh white line so the, the symbol is there white line so i wonder if that's the same so i don't know exactly where these go e either i'm going to find out uh but there was a box in there for it so uh, i'm guessing that They'll go in the back, I'm guessing. I don't really know. And then uh, this guy bought brand new, uh, you know, sway bar link bushing like holders. So we'll put that on and uh, we'll, we'll wrap up the back. And then we'll put it on the ground, make some adjustments as we need, and then we'll go from there. So yeah, let's go. gentle folks so uh yeah looking at this trunk i'm gonna have to move some stuff but uh let me see if i can get in here and look it should be it should be pretty simple uh it's it's in this corner over here and uh so i'm, I'm gonna need to move a couple things so give me one second i'm, I'm gonna just uh see if i can get this from the back seat or no I don't think I can get it from the back seat. I think I got to get it from the trunk. So give me one second. All right, so you're really not going to be able to see all that much in here. But if you pull back this uh, this side of the, you know, back trunk area, there is a clip here and two clips up here. One, one up there and one at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see it. And then you could just uh, freely just pull that back here and uh you can you can see right on the floor there there's two 14 millimeter bolts for the uh the top of the uh the rear strut which is good and uh and then we can pull that whole thing out so it's gonna be really tight so i'm just gonna get that done both sides and then uh we'll cut back whenever i have the the new ones to compare so one minute Now, uh, 
Yeah, one thing that you're gonna have to note is that these things do have pillow ball mounts. So uh, the ears on the sides of the bottoms in the rear actually are, uh, they do come out. So just keep that in mind. Uh, when you're when they're brand new, they're actually uh, you know zip tied together. But since these set were used, they're uh, you know they they kind of come in and out. So one of the last things we're gonna have to do is switch out the sway bar. So uh, I think there's a couple 14 millimeter bolts here. I think this is a 15. I don't know. Four another probably another 14. Uh, and we're gonna switch all this stuff out. So. Uh, it was just a lot easier for me to pull the bolt out of this lower control arm here on both sides to actually get it. And uh, we're, like I said before, we're just going to change this rear sway bar. So hopefully it looks a little bit better. Not like this uh, this old OEM. Uh, I'm not going to say junk, but you know, it, it, it's making it look a little bit better. So let's let's go. So, get my light here. So, this sway bar link looks really, really, really good. I actually kind of like it. Uh, nothing is tightened down just yet. I actually can see like a difference in height from left to right here. So, what I'm going to do off camera is that uh, I'm going to see, I'm going to see how much of a difference each one of these is. This one is definitely lower on the driver side than the passenger side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my measurements and I'm gonna actually like uh, make the passenger side match the driver side because that's why I feel like it's gonna be uh, definitely better. So let, let me let me do my measurements and uh, when I'm ready to put the wheels back on and put it on the ground, then uh, we'll go from there. So give me a minute. All right, so after, uh, after doing some measurements here, we do have the collars unlocked at the bottoms. Uh, we do have the NICs down at the bottoms for you to make sure that it ain't gonna stick. I, uh, I did the threads on the bottoms over there uh, on both the rears. The fronts are a little bit more difficult because they are fronts, but uh, they will get, uh, it will get the same treatment. Uh, do have, like I said before, the collars unlocked the bottoms just for a height adjustment. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the, the wheels and tires back on. And uh, this is a long, arduous process here to make sure that it is the height that you want. So uh, I'm not gonna do any of that on, on camera there. Uh, I'm going to make sure that my height is uh, correct for what I would like. Uh, this guy said that he trusts my judgment. Looking at my cars, I kind of get them all dialed in the right way here. So. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do my thing and then the end product will uh, put the wheels back on and we'll pull it outside and see what you guys think. So give me one second, be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, folk, what do you guys think about the height? What do you guys think about that height? It's about, I don't know, one finger up front maybe? Yeah, about one finger up front. About a, maybe about a finger and a half out rear. On that side anyway. Let's see how this side looks. Yeah, this side is, uh, yeah, probably about the same. It's really hard to tell. But, yeah, no, it, it actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna take this bad boy for a ride. See how, how it goes. Did have the AC on in here. So I wanna make sure it's gonna stay. So uh, let me go take this thing for a ride and make sure it's good. And then, uh, yeah, I'll report back in one second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, folks. So we are gonna wrap this video up and uh, this thing rides like a dream. I'm telling you what, 
uh, I've never had a set of Fortunato uh, coilovers and uh, I don't know why I haven't, but now I'm like a really big believer. These things were fantastic. Uh, like, and that's not even like, I I'm not even trying to hype that up. It, they really are really, really good. And uh, I'm usually, I, I usually ride on like Megan's Racing. And I know people think like Megan's Racing is like a crap company or like they make junk. Uh, but I've run Megan coilovers on Ivy, uh, which is my uh, 03 Evo 8, uh, and, and I've never had an issue. But I'm telling you what, these feel way better. Well, I'm not gonna say way better. I'm gonna say they feel better. I'm not gonna say how much because I'm not gonna daily drive this car, but I can guarantee you Fortune Autos are a, a superior company to Megan's, but this thing feels like a dream. I'm telling you that right now. So this is where we're gonna leave this video off. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Uh, if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Deuces.